Jay Smallwood, Sling Dirt Media. I'm here at the shop with Jay Green tonight getting some uh, some of Jay's stories. Jay, what's going on, man? Not much, man. Hanging out tonight. I Ready like to, it. Uh, go do an interview with Sling and Dirt. I um, mean, we've been talking about it for a while. So. Dude, we, we've, we've mentioned it a time or two. I'm glad we can finally sit down and make it happen. It's only taken, like, I think two years. <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, car looks hot, man. I Thank like you. it. Thank you. I, I'm always been a big fan of the, the black and the white and the grays. And then if you throw like a single color, like you've got the bright orange, dude, that pops, man. It just it looks good. Those are the colors we've been running for. I loved orange for a long time. It probably comes from, you know, the Bengals. Who but, does? Yeah. I don't know. I've always loved the color. And then I saw some black and orange together. I was like, oh, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know we had a different graphic guy this year. Or last year, this year, we, we have Zach doing them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I kind of opened the door to him. I was like, man. Make it look good. Yeah, make it look good. Like, yeah. I, you know, I'm not a graphic guy. I, right. I, I barely know how to hold a wheel. <laughs> I don't know how to design these things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm horrible. I mean, like, I'm not. I know just enough to get myself in trouble with a lot of stuff. Uh, race cars is one of them, especially. I know just enough to get me in trouble. Oh. Graphics, I like. I'm very picky. So it's like, man, I don't even need to start giving you specifics because that's your job. And if I start pinpointing every little detail it's like this is going to take forever and nothing you're going to do is make me happy you know but i've had a guy that's done some of my stuff and he's just like nails it i mean i don't know if he's just we just click or his style is my style or what it is but john whitney man just everything he does i just like pfft, nailed it home run i mean i i, I couldn't have guessed that i couldn't have dreamed that any better and it probably took him like a 15 seconds to doodle something like print send it that's, I mean, that's kind of how this one works. So I reached out to Zach. I think I found him in December, January. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was like, you know, I, I don't know what I want on my car. Here's the colors yeah. that I run. Here's my numbers. Yeah. Sponsors. You got to, like, fix some of the graphics on some yeah. of them because yeah, we don't yeah. have good pictures. But right. uh, I'm like, send me something wild. Like, he posts a lot of wild stuff. Yeah. I'm like, dude, send me something wild. Yeah. So this was the first thing he sent me. I saw the skeleton on the side with the body. I saw the big hand over here. Little ghost, like you have to look real close. Oh, yeah. Little ghost coming off. Yeah. Big skeleton up front. I was like, yeah. This is, this is me. This is what we're running this <laughs> yeah. year, baby. Yeah. I had a guy do one. Uh, he did a design for me. I had some damage, and I, I, had, to, I had to replace some stuff. And um, the guy's name was Wade, Wade Logan. Logan. Yeah, he was doing, I think, he, I think his stuff was called uh, Dead Man Designs. And I don't know if he's still doing them or not. And I'm like, man, I need something. You know what my car looked like. Just give me something similar. I like skulls and cool shit, you know, whatever. And I don't even think I got a picture of it. It was the baddest thing I had. I'm like, that is badass. I love it. You know, I think I ran it like twice before we were done for the season. Never even got a picture of it. I'm like, I, I can't even show you how cool it was. <laughs> so. Hey, well, shit happens, right? Mm-hmm. So, you're in a modified. Yes, sir. You race mostly at Lawrenceburg. Yes, sir. Okay. You didn't always start it. Have you always ran a modified? Where'd you start at? So, I actually started at Little Lawrenceburg Speedway. I Go ran dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. When I was a kid. Okay. And then, from there, like, we didn't actually progress with the dirt bikes. Can't Like, I still rode dirt bikes. Yeah. But we just progressed working on the track. Okay. So my whole family helps Little Lawrenceburg, um, okay. and the bankers put on the show on Friday nights and just scoring and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, track prep. Well, more of like race day watering. We don't do a whole lot of track prep. My nephew does still. Yeah. Um, but then I was a pit steward for a long time over there. I was a flagman before that, and then okay. I did uh, officiating for a couple of years. My nephew did pit steward. Yeah. He did officiating, so we've been we've been around dirt since we were or since I was twelve, and okay. I'm going on I'm going on an unknown aged right age right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. going on forty now, so I mean we've been around dirt a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And grew up around it. Yeah, grew yeah. up around it the entire time. Yeah. Um, actually worked at both tracks pretty much seven days a week there for a while. With really? One of the old promoters. Okay. I remember when I was. I say, yeah, I was a kid. Um, I remember when uh, Mona and Jerry King from Florence. Oh, yeah. When they had Lawrenceburg for maybe a year or two, maybe. Mm -hmm. I think a year. I'm not 100% sure, but I know they had it for one year. 
And I remember me and Josh running around as kids, you know, running around the fairgrounds and stuff, just being kids, four-wheeler riding around stuff. That was, that was a little before my time, I think. <laughs> I'm, not that, I'm not that much older than you. At least that might be my time in dirt. Let's put it that way. Uh, yeah, gosh, I don't even know what year that would have been. Maybe uh, late 80s? Late 80s? Yeah, no, we, wouldn't, we weren't up there yet. Okay. So okay. I, was, I was 84. 84. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah. <laughs> oh man, time flies, dude. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm like my my daughter just had had a grandson. I say just. It was like six months ago. He's my little little dude's like almost six months old already. I'm like, dude, where where's time go? Yeah. Okay, so you race dirt bikes. Race dirt bikes. Okay. You didn't um, do any go kart stuff. No, I never really raced go karts like on the track. We did, you okay. know. Um, one of those ones called out there Tri County, full throttle. Oh yeah, full throttle. Yeah, I did yeah. full throttle up there, just playing around. Yeah, yeah, that's fun. Go up, have a couple beers, go out, crash each other. Say when I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm pretty sure we could pull a, a collective group of guys to go up and go do I, something like that. I am down. We yeah. used to used to I used to get a little group together like in my my around my birthday in January, and we used to at minimum we had six or eight guys, and then we had a blast. We go snowboarding. My birthday, we go snowboarding every year. Okay. It's January. Nobody wants to do anything. So right. I'm like, let's go snowboarding. What's your birthday? January 14th. Ninth. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody wants to do shit. So we yeah, just go snowboarding. Yeah. We used to, we did the one here in Lawrenceburg. Remember the, uh, um, mm -hmm. the go-kart track they had here? We, so when I worked at Lawrenceburg, I worked there for uh, Tommy and Marty Wick. Yep. And Wednesday, it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. It was like our half day break. They just paid for us to go over and race. Yeah. So we always had a bunch of races right over there. It was, God, I got to try to think of the list. I know it was Zach Bolton was there. Okay. Ricky Bolton was there. Um, and you can't ever get, uh, you can't ever go under Ricky on a go kart. You just can't. <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. We, I know you'll see that part. Right. You cannot go underneath Ricky Bolton on a go kart. Okay. Um, what was the name of that track here in Lawrenceburg? It wasn't full throttle. Oh, no, I can't think of it. I've been trying to think of it the whole time. Competition racing. Competition go karts. I competition think. go karts. Yeah, yeah, competition yeah. go karts. That place was fun. Yeah, that was so much fun. We had some. Uh, we had some good races there. I've got. You know, I've had some really good races, and then when you come down to that last like hundred and or yes. almost three hundred sixty degree turn, the hairpin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I learned that you can't go around Ricky Bolton on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because i i had a head full of steam on the outside of the last corner i was like oh i got him mm -mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> don't work he, no he closed the door on me quick <laughs> and that like, generally oh. hurts in those little things yeah there was a pole right there too. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. we uh one of the one of the last times we were there uh, brad greer the announcer okay. from Florence, the retired. yeah he came over just to watch and hang out and have a good time you know and heckle the crap out of us like Brad does, and he's good at it. And uh, Matt Hamilton was there, and I, I can't remember who else, but in particular, we got done racing, and uh, everybody was gathered around, and, and Brad said something to the effect of, DJ, come here, man, you got, you got to see this. He's like, I got a really good video of Matt passing you right here. I'm like, Brad, I see that on the racetrack every week. Nothing new, bud. <laughs> <laughs> see it every week. Nothing new. <laughs> I want to deal with it again, man. Yeah, yeah thanks. That. Appreciate that. <laughs> now, if you have a video of me passing Matt, now I want to see yeah, that. Yeah, that's a highlight reel <laughs> right there. I'm, I'm playing that on my wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, the last go-karting I got to do, I just did one, an experience down in um, Mooresville. So, I, I, man, I had to look it up. We'll talk about it off camera because there were some pretty big names. And I'm not going to say feelings got hurt, but I feelings particularly surprised a, a certain <laughs> outlaw late model driver. Like, damn. Like, I was coming. Yeah, I need this story. Now. I was coming. <laughs> I need this story now. That'd yeah. be good. Yeah, it's a go. We'll talk about that off camera. All right. All right. So, how did you end up from two wheels to four wheels? Um, I spent a lot of my life on two wheels on street bikes and I ended up on four wheels because of my current job and I couldn't risk losing a license anymore of all things. Okay. Um, I thought you was going to say I spent a lot of money, which I'm sure you had. I, yeah. I spent a lot of <laughs> that money. Too. That too. <laughs> um, 
But no, I, you know, I couldn't lose my license because of my job. I'm like, all right, uh-huh. well, I got to be an adult, find a way to go do this. I've loved modified racing. I followed um, like Jerry back way back in yeah. the day, 392. Yeah. Um, Jeff Suitcase Harris, Brad Harris, Wick, yeah. um, all the Harding Cowboys. Like mm-hmm. it was so much fun watching those guys race. And then a buddy of mine at race go karts, Troy Whitaker. Um, he he was actually the guy that really really got me to fall in love with modifieds. Okay. Um, he raced them for a long time, and his first win before he won one of the, I think it was actually the last Saturday night or Sunday night special on the Big Dog One Hundred. Okay. Um, I gave him one of my street bike helmets. I said, "Hey man, you know if you're gonna win." Like, you need to win in style. You need a good-looking helmet. And I gave him that helmet. And he, he ended up winning a couple weeks after I gave him that helmet. And I was like, yeah. It, it was a really cool moment for me. Right. But right. I've been hooked on Modifieds ever since. Ever you know, since. Yeah, ever since. Like, just watching those guys race them and watching Brad and them go at yeah. it. And then tr- watch Troy go from go-karts to mods. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. got to go help them a lot with their car. And then for a long time, it was just money. You know, money gets yeah. in the way of a lot of people. A lot. Love to um, so I finally ended up, you know, being able to save up enough money to go buy my own. And here you are. Here I am. Yeah. So you basically modified was the first thing you started it. Yeah. yeah Still in it. Yeah. Any desire to do anything else or just modifies? Uh, late models. Late models. Yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to get late models. Everybody does. I love it. Late yeah. models are cool. I love like if I had a choice, like I would want to go do it mm-hmm. to go do it, but I truly love racing modifies. Yeah. They're, they're fun. They're fun. They're, they're a blast. fun car. I, I feel like uh, there's a lot of people that's either they're on the fence, like they're either modified as a stepping stone and it's just going to either a late model or a sprint car. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, because then you get to learn how to ho- handle some horsepower and rear wheel mm-hmm. drive. And mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. they're like, all right, let's go step it up. At yeah. that point in time, you start spending crazy money. Crazy money. Money this cat ain't got. Uh, yeah, same here. I told, uh, I told Nicholas last night, I said, look, I can afford to sit around and talk about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my racing career. <laughs> I can sit around and talk about it. I can, I can afford that. I, I got video games. I can afford the video games. See me. <laughs> Tear stuff up, hit reset. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a big bank account on a video game. On a video game, yeah. <laughs> a video game, not, not in real life. No. Gotcha. Okay. So, you're not far from Lawrenceburg, home track. Mm-hmm. Do you get to venture out and occasionally do any other stuff? Um, we've been to Florence. We've been to Moeller. We've mm-hmm. been to Brownstown. Yeah. It's about as far out as I've I've made Circle City as well. Circle City. Um, it's it's hard to make those trips when you've got a track. Right. <coughs> it's hard to make those. Yeah. Yeah. Moeller, I would love to make it back to. It's Friday nights. Having mm-hmm. a little girl yeah. working full time. You want to spend some time with them. It's hard to sure. you know pull away and it, yeah. it's actually really hard to drag a truck and trailer to work to get there on a friday oh night. yeah that's my my biggest thing stopping me yeah, yeah yeah um i don't i don't really have a big crew it's my wife myself and you know i'm a two-year-old now so okay okay that makes it a little tough to uh get out there to molar and get everything packed so where, up do, where do you work um i work at silco fire and security okay right, right over in Reading. okay so it's almost, I mean, it's, it's almost right in the way. middle. Yes, it's right there. <laughs> it's just a big inconvenience. Right, right on that. 270, right yeah. off of uh, 275. Right. Mm. But putting a trailer in the parking lot all day long, they're like, mm. They, they're not that. real big on that, are they? <laughs> yeah. oh, maybe, maybe if it had their name on the side of it, maybe they might. I've tried. Yeah. I've tried. <laughs> it's, it's either a swing, it's swing and a miss, or it's a, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm not a, not a good salesman. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either. Gosh, if I, if I was, I'd. Probably have way more zeros in my bank account. Is that, yeah, I mean, I, I, that is a good way to do it. I'm a, I'm a good operation manager. Yeah. But not a good okay. salesman. All right. Um, schedule. What's your schedule looking like this year? I mean, mostly just your, your local stuff. Mostly the local stuff. Uh, Furthest we'll probably get out again is going to be, you know, Brownstown. Um, okay. I'd love to go race Eldora. Just to, yeah. just to turn, list. yeah, that's a bucket list yeah, track. Yeah, I get it. I think every dirt track racer around here is like, El Dor is it. Especially in this region. Yes. I mean, it's, it's like, that's the bold print on the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've talked about trying to make the trip up to um, Atomic. Mm. Um, yeah. But getting down to, you know, like 411 or something, those are, those are hauls. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's, it's, it's a, gosh, that's a weekend. Yes. It's a weekend. That is a weekend. It is a weekend. I always wanted to make the trip. I always wanted to do the East Bay, the week at East Bay. 
Oh, that'd be a blast. Dude, I'm like, if, if I had a little camper, if I had a camper I could stay in, then I don't have to pay a hotel room. Wife can go shopping and go to the beach every day, and I can race every night. That would just be it. I'm almost at the point where I'd sleep in the back of my truck. <laughs> I went to the Dome a few years ago. I went to the first, like, two races at the Dome. Oh, yeah. And I was driving out there prepared to sleep in the back of my truck because I couldn't get a hotel. Uh, and, and, like at a reasonable cost. Let's at a reasonable price. At a reasonable yeah, price. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, we had you tickets. You could drive an hour away. <laughs> yeah, we had tickets and we were still trying to figure out a hotel going yeah. out there. I mean, we found one like 30 minutes out of town. Yeah. Like, you know, at a reasonable price. <laughs> right, like, right. I'll sleep in my truck if I have to. This is going to be good. You know, that's a, I feel like that's an area. It's like a half hour out of town. You don't know what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. Like, well, what neighborhood am I in? <laughs> oh, it was sketchy. <laughs> yeah. It was sketchy. <laughs> It was super sketchy. Yeah. We took everything out of the car. Hell, I think we took the mats out of the car. We're like, you'd have no reason to break into this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. When, uh, when, you, when you go out, I'll, I'll say, how do I say this? When you go out and have drinks with Gordy Gundaker afterwards, and then they start serving breakfast at the same place you're having drinks, uh, it's, uh, it's that a long night. That sounds like a good night. <laughs> it, was a good, it was a good night. <laughs> it was a good night. Those are some good stories. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that yeah uh what about taking the car I'll take the car to the dome um you have first you got to be good i look good <laughs> yeah. so the reason my car always looks so good is because i'm not fast you know? I'm not <laughs> <laughs> right no you got to be selected to go to the dome really yeah you oh, okay. you have to be selected and I, I don't know what their process is right it, right it's not like they take the top guys in the country mm. they have yeah 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 i, don't know, I have no idea what their they, process it seems is. like they have a pretty good variety Yes. Hmm. But if you're in a super, you can just sign up to go. Huh. Super, so. you just sign up and go, but not a modified. You got to be invited. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's, there's a ton of modifieds out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A oh, ton. yeah. It's like you can walk across the field and trip over. Especially, I mean, think of the area that it's in, too. Illinois is dirt yes. mod country. It is. So, Mars. Yes. Mars. That, that is their thing. <laughs> Jonathan Clayton. It. We got Mars, Mars everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, I I'd love to get out that way to go race too. Yeah, Fairbury, Farmer City. Mm-hmm. Nice little tracks. Yes. Very nice. Those would be fun to go race at. I, yeah. I could. I, yeah. 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 I um. Last year was my first time getting to either one of those, and was definitely impressed. They were nice, racy tracks. I was. I was impressed. Nice. Liked them a lot. Liked them a lot. The guy that bought my impressive actually came from that area really drove all the way out there or all the way over here uh-huh. um don jumpers in that neck of the woods okay he came all the way out here to go get the car and yeah took it all the way back called don checked all the you know the background i'll make sure, sure it's legit sure i it's a good car that's the reason yeah he came yeah, all yeah. Way to get it uh the guy that bought my last car drove from western kentucky yeah for for an old pierce car wow yeah yeah um, I think the last I heard, it made its way to Tennessee. He raced it a little while, and then uh, a guy in Tennessee bought it, and then he raced it a while. I'd say it's probably well off the track by now. <laughs> probably. How many years has it been since you've raced? Uh, my own equipment, I think the last year I drove something I owned might have been 16, 17. Okay, it's, it's been one or two days. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's been a... Been a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> Been a hot minute. I've I've dabbled. I've I've uh, I've turned a couple laps here or there and some other stuff and yeah. somebody else's stuff. But uh, yeah, no, it's um that door is always open. It's just the opportunity and the timing and my schedule is just crazy. Is an yeah. understatement. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> um, I feel like my schedule may be a little bit lighter this year than last year because I'm not quite on the road as much, except for when it comes time for summer nationals. Then I'll be gone for a while. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not, not doing the, the full outlaw schedule like I did last year, but I'm working with Sam Driggers in a UMP dirt car. So I got to do the modifieds of Volusia, and then I'll be doing the late models, I think late models and modifieds for the – Summer Nationals, the Hell Tour. That'll be cool. That would be cool. That's yeah. that's kind of one of those bucket lists. Like, I mean, I always just want to go see some of the races. Well, now I get to actually officiate 
all of the races. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a five or six week stint. You're gonna you're gonna be a loved and hated man all at the same time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. all at the same time. <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it to try it, but so that's like all of my season all at once. So that leaves a whole bunch of time before and a whole bunch of time afterwards. So I was able, luckily enough, to get to work some things out with James Essex. So now I'm also doing the Northern uh, All-Stars. Northern series. All-Stars. Yeah, yeah, which is, that thing's got some potential. It's been pretty cool so far to watch. Yes, yes. That's, it's, it's been great. You know, we had uh, races at Florence, races at Brownstown. Uh, next up. Next month, we are at Circle City mm -hmm. and then Lawrenceburg the next night. So yeah. it's kind of almost like a double header there. I'm le looking forward to that. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Yeah, yeah. Circle City. Have you been to Circle City I've yet? I've never been to Circle City. It is tiny. Really? Yeah. Drove by it, and I've seen it on TV, but never been there. It's, it is it is a bull ring of bull rings, mm. especially for this ring okay. or this region. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It is. Smaller than Molar. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, definitely smaller than Molar. Huh. And I feel like kind of molar is the smallest thing we've got. Like, <clears throat> yeah, huh. wait till you, wait till you get out there and check it out. It, it but it's wide. So yeah, the front stretch is I mean, it's really, really wide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corners are really, really wide. You got a ton of room to run right. all the way up the track. Hmm. And then I've been there a few times now, and in, the track changes every race that I'm there. So it's not like one groove. The one time I went there, and nobody's been up against the wall, like beating down the wall yet. But right. They, there was a cushion and people were running up towards kind of a, a cushion. Up, upper middle. Yeah, 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 upper middle. That's where they were running. And then <laughs> well next done. time, everybody is like down on the bottom. And that's just where it's at. It's all yeah. at the bottom. And then hmm. one time I've been there, hot, or heat races, it was, you know, kind of a groove up, this weird line that yeah. you just don't think of running a lot. That's where people just started. That's where it's at. Yeah, that's just where it was. Yeah. And then it turned into a, a bottom track again. You're yeah. Just, uh, that, it, it's an interesting place. It's hmm. it's small. It's fun. Yeah. Um, I've tried it a few times. I'm not a good bull ring driver. I just, really? Yeah. Hmm. I've tried it. But because I'm not a very bright guy either, I'm, <laughs> I'll probably go back. <laughs> well, there's that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you, you just feel defeated. You're like, I can't handle this. i got to go do it again. The, uh, the promoter, the guy at uh, Davenport, Iowa. He's like, man, he, he knows, and he, he gets his track set, and then uh, he has to adjust track prep throughout the night. He's like, how are these guys running here? He says, this is where it's normally ran, and they're just they're using every inch of the racetrack. And he's like, I, 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 how, do you, how do you prep for that? You know, It's like, these guys are using all of it. The, the funny thing about what I was told from that place is the smaller track puts on a good race. It also has a big track. It had a full half mile all the way around it. Big, big track. And uh, I was told if that track, they were still running on the big track, said this place, you wouldn't be able to seat everybody. There would be people, standing room only, people come to watch it. It doesn't race as well, but it's like, I'm like, well, man, I don't, I don't, what do you do? Do you have more people or do you want a better racetrack? I mean, if, do you need a better racetrack if you've got people everywhere? Yeah, no kidding. But, hmm. I mean, to support the racers, you got to have a good race. You got to have a good so. racetrack. Yeah, you got to have racers that want to come to your racetrack. Yeah, yeah. We, I have seen racetracks that have maybe <coughs> changed some things. The track hasn't really changed, but maybe they changed the way they do it. And guys are like, well, I, I don't want to run there anymore. Used to love this place, and now they're like, mm, no, I'm good. You mean like track prep or like the race day operations? Sure. Both, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say maybe more track prep. Yeah, yeah. Track prep will do it every time. Track prep will do it. Yes, yep. you have a good track, man. People don't want to come back. They're they don't. expensive. You don't want to destroy anything. Not, not like throwing any shade at anyone. But we had bad right. weather last week, right? Right. Cars ready, ready to rock and roll. I have two stickers that I may or may not put on. Uh huh. Um, and I was just like, man. If I go out there and this place turns into a cornfield, you know, like I said, not throwing any shade at anybody, but there was a lot of rain. It could, it a lot could, of rain. Yeah, it could go new one track way surfaces. or the other way. Yeah, new track surface. Uh huh. So I was like, man. What am I going to do? Yeah, do I want to destroy a set of shocks first <laughs> race out? Or, yeah. You know, so parked it last week. Now I'm kicking myself in the ass. It looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Looked racy. 
Jesse Lee, I think he's doing he was doing the exact same thing. When I got there, and he's like, "No, we're we're not going." He's just, it's better off. We've got another car that needs work. He said that place is going to be muddy, and everything we have is going to be covered in mud. And he said it's we are just better off spending the time getting the other car ready. Yeah. And I get there, and it's like, man, this place ain't bad. He's like, well, dang. He said, yeah, I wasn't expecting that either. I was like, me neither. <laughs> I thought this place, I, I would have never thought they would have got it in, but they did. <coughs> yeah. So, I mean, kudos. Yeah, kudos, kudos for them. the guys kudos who did. And, I, yeah. I knew Lawrenceburg got theirs in, and I uh, actually, on my way out to Brownstown, I was driving by, and I was texting and messaged Shane. He's like, man, I wanted to stop by. I just don't have time, but at least I want to say good luck tonight. You know, I know it's probably, it's a big night for you. Mm -hmm. Good luck, man. Hope everything goes good. And, it, so from you know sitting on the back stretch watching it, they had a pretty smooth show. Um, they did some track prep in between the races because uh -huh. there was two grooves and okay. Uh, and they they went to go clean the surface back up, which was nice to see. It was nice to see them you know yeah recognizing hey there there could be a potential problem or issues. Let's right. try to clean this up when we get an get opportunity. Ahead of, get ahead of it. Yeah, and they did. I mean, they, I feel like they did a pretty good job. It looked like a pretty smooth track. Good. 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 So, uh, Lawrenceburg's racing this weekend. Mm -hmm. You're going to be ready to go? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go out. If they could do what they did last week, we'll be back out yeah, this week. All right. So, you kind of led to my next question. How do you handle being able to go and watch races and not take the car? Uh, are you still a race fan? Do you like to go watch races and just hang out? Or are you one of those guys, if I'm not racing, no, I don't want to go. I can't. Oh, no. I'm I there. can't. I'm there. You're there. Yeah, okay, yeah I'm okay. there. I'm I've been dirt since I was 12. I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll consistently be dirt. If I'm not there, I'm watching it on TV yeah. somewhere or, you know, I'm checking Facebook yeah. for updates. Right. I would say maybe it's just my late mall guys, but it's not. I've got a modified guy. He's this, some friends of mine. They are, they are like dead set on if they're not racing, they can't go. They don't want to go watch. I'm like, that makes no sense. I mean, I'm I'm a race fan, man. I want to go and watch. I mean, I don't I don't care if I'm racing or not. I'm, yeah, I, I still I enjoy action. watching. Yeah, <laughs> I still enjoy knocking the dust off. There's there's times where it's like, all right, I'm not racing. It sucks. You know, I'm not right? there. There's something's wrong with the car. We decide yes. not to go because of whatever. Right. You get there and you crack that first beer. You're like, oh yeah, this is home. I love this. <laughs> Here I am. I'm back at home. Yeah. Got my dirt burger. Got my dirt beer. Yeah. Look how much money I'm not spending. Yeah. Tonight. Look how much money I'm saving tonight <laughs> as I chug a six pack for like forty bucks. <laughs> dang, dang, wish I was here racing. <laughs> yeah, wish I was here racing. <laughs> I wish I was burning a right rear right now. <laughs> I don't need this beer anyways. Where's my car? At? Right. Where's my car? Uh, tell me. Let's talk a little bit about Jay. <coughs> Jay outside of the race car. All right. All right. Music. Let's I start with am. That. I I'm everywhere. You got hip hop. You got rap. Yep. R&B. Yep. Country. Yeah, a little rock, bit of everything. A little bit of everything, except uh -huh. folk country. I'm not. I don't get down with folk country. <laughs> the banjos don't. just yeah, can't. No, I can't. Just don't do it for you. Mm -hmm. huh? No. Nope. Okay. Okay. I gotta leave when I start hearing the banjos. I'm like, right. I'm, I'm in, like, I'm in the I'm wrong out. county. <laughs> I'm Sorry. down the road. I gotta go back. <laughs> um. Restaurants. What's your favorite? What's your go-to? Uh, State Line, baby. State Line. Tell me about State Line. State Line 50. US 50. Okay. Um, breakfast joint. Mom and, Mom and Pop is where it started. Um, mm -hmm. Bob and Heidi own it right now. And uh, it's kind of, it is my go-to for going out for breakfast. Okay. Um, I don't go out very often to go eat food. I'm kind of a cheap ass because I have a <laughs> expensive hobby you have an expensive <laughs> habit <laughs> yeah i have an expensive hobby over here so <laughs> drugs a cheaper no, I'm just Dude, that's that's what i tell people it's like i can't get enough <laughs> yeah so uh no that's where we are go to for for breakfast okay um and for those guys i know they've been doing lunch here the past couple of weeks um that's not just you know because they advertise in my car right right um it's a it's, it's a the whole story with it but a good friend of mine owns it and you know yeah. help them out but they do have some really good food and that's 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 honest i, I gotta go. check this place out you've never so, been i've never been go you need to get the state liner <laughs> when you go there with gravy okay state liner with gravy um and um cajun getta you like getta i love getta oh cajun getta. i love getta oh <laughs> <clears throat> i've, I've kind of turned into and i didn't realize that i was kind of so passionate about cooking and it's like man i'm watching tiktoks and reels and i'm trying this stuff and it's like 
holy cow, this shit is good. And my wife's like, what has gotten into you? I'm spoiled rotten when it comes to, to cooking at home. I, I have an amazing wife. She takes care of everything at the house mm-hmm. for me. Um, spent a lot of time either out here. You saw out here where it, it yeah, looks like yeah. a construction zone. And it's it because happens. it is. We're, it we're getting ready to go move some more dirt over there. Uh, <laughs> so I stay busy between that. Silco working, you know, 55 hours a week right. plus. Um, so she spoils me. She's making dinner yeah. every night. Yeah. Sometimes she'll make breakfast for it. Well, a lot of times she'll make breakfast for us in the morning. And I, I like breakfast for dinner. I'll eat breakfast for dinner. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do I'm, that a lot. I'm down for some steak and eggs. <laughs> steak and eggs. 100%. We'll do uh, bacon eggs. It was bacon eggs and pancakes. You know, it's like, hey, it's if we got gravy, gravy it is. Throw it all in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, occasionally, um, on a occasionally, it's not very often. <clears throat> we'll get to hit uh, me and a couple of buddies from work or something on Saturday. Maybe we'll get a waffle house or something like that if if there's time or if time permits or something oh there's like always that. time after the race <laughs> there's always, always time, time after the races <laughs> yeah yeah or that second six pack in when you know on a friday saturday night rainy nights yeah some people end up at waffle house so, o'clock in the morning. yeah the funny thing about that is so when i used to when i used to race and my dad was around and he was helping me his job was he was a truck driver i didn't have a pickup truck to pull my own car with so dad He's like, well, I'm driving a truck. He says, you you got to do all the work. He said, but I'll get get us there and get us home. He said, and you got to buy me steak and eggs at Waffle House on the way home. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so it was like, I, I, mean, I need a good deal right there. I need to make the show not just to be main, so I can afford fuel and Waffle House. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get Dad's breakfast yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, breakfast is my go-to. I don't, I'm not. I don't care too much about lunch or dinners. Yeah. I'm not not picky on dinner okay. food. But okay. Breakfast um, is my go-to. State line. Do they, they do dinners too? Is it more of a breakfast lunch kind of place? Um, I think they've been staying open until eight, dipping into some of the okay. dinner hours, but not late okay. night stuff. I know they got some burgers and stuff up. Burgers there. Burgers and stuff. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried their lunch yet. So okay. if you go out for lunch, you have to let me know. But their breakfast, the state liner, state liner with gravy, state liner with gravy. All right, I'm gonna write this down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm there. It I'm I'll there. Your picture of this thing it is bomb. Um, on the racetrack, back on the racetrack. All right. And this can go either way. This can either be left. That's the way we go. Usually. Tell me, what's the worst thing you've ever done to somebody on the racetrack? Or what's the worst thing you've ever had done to you? Uh, The worst thing I've ever done to somebody is I'm pretty sure it was Travis Johnson and I T-boned him on accident. It Uh, happens? Yeah. And this was like... My rookie season, I think, yeah. maybe even my second year in. <laughs> yeah. He started turning a little sideways, and I still wasn't quite sure what to do, and just <laughs> bam. Right. I mean, we've been good friends ever since. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did the thing that's you're a, not that's supposed to do. It's kind of a weird do. way to start a friendship. It is a weird way, but it happens a lot, man. <laughs> Anybody that's been around him for a while, they know it all happens yeah. a lot. You get into an altercation on the track, mm-hmm. you're kicking, cussing, screaming. And, oh, yeah. And Next thing sudden, you know, you're best buds. Yeah, you're, you're, you're best buds. And if you go to the track, you're like, hey, where are you at? Why aren't you here? Why ain't you here? Yeah. <laughs> Quit being a loser. <laughs> yeah. Forget yeah. work. Come to the track. I, uh... God, it, it, just, it just throws me first thing in my mind. I uh, When I started racing, I was racing the Super Dirt Stocks at Florence. And this was probably one of the first few weeks, whatever. I, I made the A main, and I went, dove into turn one pretty hard. I was starting to get a little braver. And uh, Mike Hacker had a big, bright yellow, uh, I think it was a Monte Carlo. It was a Hacker's Hoopty. Big bright red numbers on it, man. This this thing it was you couldn't miss it. I mean, it stood out. And uh, Mike was Mike was fast. I mean, he was you know generally one of the top five ish guys. You know, he was so for me to be even close enough, I'm like I'm you know maybe it was early and we were still getting shucked out or whatever. And I just probably drove it way over my head, being a new guy. Yeah, I was going to turn one and I just blasted him. And I was like, oh my god, he, Mike's going to kill me. I mean. Uh, <laughs> The best way, I mean, I was a lot younger, so I was probably, 
maybe 22 at the time, and you know I was a lot smaller <laughs> back then. <laughs> Mike is like a lumberjack. This guy, a big bearded, burly guy, oh, shows yeah, up the, the racetrack with his work hit. boots and flannels, and I'm like, this guy's gonna kill me. I'm dead meat, you know. So man, I when the race was over, I couldn't get over there quick enough to. Man, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to get into back cabin. He's like, ah, you're all good. And I'm like, dodge that bullet. <laughs> He said, had you not come talk to me, we might have had a problem. I was like, st stuck in my mind. That's it's, always stuck in my mind. It's always a weird thing. You know, do you go talk to the guy? Do you not oh, talk to the guy? Yeah. You know the guys you don't want to go talk to because they are very <laughs> vocal. When you come off the track, they're... Yeah, I'm not. I'm going to just yeah, let that one go. Yeah, we're going to let that one go for a week or two. There, there has been times where I've tried to go talk to people. Like, we need to talk about this right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> if they're bad like that, you're the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to talk right now. <laughs> Just walk away. I'm doing it next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember a uh, guy? Oh, uh, Jeff Von Barga. Mm, I can't say that I do. Okay. Jeff drove a uh, number. I think it was number seventy-five, and uh, I think he drove a truck for a Red Bo Red Red Bank Transporter. Okay. He hauled gravel. Me and Jeff had an altercation on the track. It was not not necessary. It was for a win and a B main. It was totally not necessary. Yeah. One of us didn't finish, and the other one got DQ'd. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> like for a B main, really. I, I have been lucky enough. I you know I haven't been into that. All the you know, there's been times that I could think I I feel like I should have done something back, but I'm just you know, not a big retaliation guy. It is what it is, and mm. I believe in karma. Karma. Okay. Karma. Yeah. Yeah. It'll it'll get you if you're, if you're intentional and you truly mean to go something, and karma will get you. It's funny how that works, ain't it? Mm-hmm. It not generally it does. It does. I, I haven't seen it fail me yet, so <laughs> just keep karma on your good side, right? Yep. There you go. And then the worst one is we all know it, is when Brian took me out um, ah, at Lawrenceburg, the yeah, end yeah. of last year. Would have been my first modified win. This is a win and a feature. This is a feature win, yeah. Feature win. I got, a couple, right. got a couple heat race wins. This would have been my first uh, feature win. Okay. And um, it, was a, it was a night that things lined up for me that it, you know, should uh -huh. have been my race. Yeah. Um, Hamilton broke, and my buddy Bird broke. Uh-huh. And I was right behind Bird most of the race. And then once he went down, I was like, oh, that's me. I got this. Yeah, one. I got this one. I know who's behind me. I know who's coming. Yeah. I'm watching up on the leaderboard. He had moved up a little further, and I was mm -hmm. like, nah, he's not catching me. Mm -hmm. I know he's not catching me. And then we had a restart. Um, <sighs> first lap, you know, we were all still pretty close. Second mm -hmm. lap, go into the corner. I go in just a little squarely. The car wasn't, you know, mm -hmm. as square as it needed to be coming out. He had a little more speed going down the back stretch, and then going down to three and four, all of a sudden, I was – spinning and i'm looking around like what the <laughs> fuck is going on and i know who it was and the <laughs> officials are watching me and finger out the window i kept it going i, I think I, I held on to like third maybe fourth place uh -huh, uh -huh. but my my mind wasn't in the right spot man i was too oh. damn mad <laughs> go down to one and two spin the car again oh, oh yeah the one yeah. that got away the one that got away that one hurt pretty bad mm, mm. but that i feel i feel like that's like that could be like a whole nother segment going around talking to guys and just saying, tell me about the one that got away. You should do a, like a pit <laughs> thing once in a while yeah. to stop people. Tell me about the one that got away. Yeah. 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 That is, that's, that's my one that got away. That's the one. Yeah. Right. Uh, how, how was relations with, uh, Mr. Gray now? Um, I mean, we don't, we don't talk. We, we never okay. did. Okay. We, you know, so now you weren't like buds before, but you, that didn't make things better or worse. <laughs> no, it didn't make things better. <laughs> it didn't so you make see, things hanging better. out, having beers, watching the no, game? No, <laughs> never. Okay. Uh -uh. Right. Nope. Mm. You won't catch me in that wheelhouse. Okay. All not right. today, not tomorrow, <laughs> or probably ever. All right. All right. Um, what about, other than racing, what kind of hobbies? Any? Is there any hobbies? Um, right now, because I have my little girl, it's really just family time. I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I spend so much time at work and spend so much time racing that it's really just family. Okay. Um, we like to get out. We like to travel a little. Yeah. Um, go to random places. Yeah. Go on mini vacations. Although that's, we that's haven't been real stuff. good at it the past couple of years. Yeah. 
Um, but we still have gone to several different places. We've taken her with us. I know, actually, the, the old lady was just talking about going somewhere this summer again. A place um, that you've already been to or a new place? Nah, we, we like to just pick random, random new spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spur of the moment stuff. Let's Spur, go. Yeah. And then I, I have, like, vacation packages that are pre-bought that we can go use. So nice. I have some of those because you get best deals. Besides that, I mean, I don't know. We just clown around. Got yeah. the quad. Um, Got some toys to play with. The banging Bugatti over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, what about, okay, prior to that, do you do any hunting, fishing, any sports um, growing up? No, no, no real hunting. Uh, we do quite a bit of fishing. The old lady and I love to go out on the coast, go yeah. fishing anywhere on the coast. Okay. For some reason, we suck at Ohio fishing. Yeah. Ohio and yeah. Indiana fishing. She's uh -huh. better than I am. But we get out to the ocean and yeah. uh, love going fishing out there, love going out on boats. Yeah. Uh, I, I got to go. I got the opportunity. Went a few, four or five years ago, went deep sea off the, off the Keys. And That'd we was about cool. 20 miles out, and man, we caught, we couldn't, we couldn't put all the fish on this table. I mean, we caught some big stuff, I and mean, we just caught a lot. I mean, it was, it was a great day. I mean, yeah. there was five of us that went, and we were just like every time one was up, we was bringing something in. I mean, we had a great captain, and we gave him a bunch of fish. The deckhand gave him a bunch of fish. Uh, there was actually, I, I can't remember the name of the restaurant. But one of the restaurants right there um, that the ship docks whatever it's a local place and they're like they have packages where you can bring them your catch they will cook it prepare it all the sides and everything you know and whatever the price was it's like well yeah we're it's totally worth that you know and so <laughs> yeah, we I'm went and fed like shit. that yeah. night we fed like 20 25 people and Still didn't touch half of what we caught. I mean, Damn. we caught a lot of fish. Damn. Man, it was good. I mean, you catch it that day and eat it that night. You, yeah. It don't get any fresher than that. So I, I love going fishing, but I actually don't eat seafood. I, really? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch them and give them to anybody else or release okay. them, but I, you know. Yeah. It's a texture thing for me. Texture thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm a texture eater. Okay. That's just, you know, that's my, my weird thing. You're weird. Yeah, my weirdness There's something there. wrong with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like seafood. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I just, I, God, there's probably not, the list is way more of what I will, no, I'll eat way more than what I won't eat. Yeah. It's probably maybe like five things that I won't eat. Yeah, seafood's like my, my thing that I just won't eat. Yeah. Besides that, I, I pretty much can, can find something to go eat at any yeah, restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a hard time anytime it's whether it's lunch or dinner with a wife or whatever. It's like I'm not the guy to pick. I'm not a picky eater. So it's like, man, wherever we go, I can find something. So if I'm with somebody, it's like, hey, you pick. You tell me what you want. I'll find something there I like or yeah. I'm going to be good with. You know, I'm not, I'm not real picky. Yeah. I'll find well, something. Outside of fishing, um, I'm, a, I'm more of an extreme sports or an extremist type of guy. I love snowboarding skydiving um, skydiving mountain biking yeah last time i went skydiving i drove to amelia island just north of um jacksonville florida tell me about this because i'm in i'm intrigued so, <laughs> i'm intrigued there is uh you good, have my attention good buddy of mine lived down there in jacksonville florida okay and uh, i wanted to go down to go see him at the same time like I wanted to go out and do something. Like I haven't done anything wild in a while. Right. And I was like, man, I just I gotta I gotta do something. I gotta get rid of this itch of just wildness. I gotta, I got, I got some adrenaline. I gotta, yeah, <laughs> I, got, I gotta get rid of this adrenaline. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm looking online and I find skydiving down there in Amelia Island. And I'm like, hey, you want to go skydiving? He's like, no, I'm, I'm going to work. And I said, all right, well, I'm coming down this day. Yeah. I'm going skydiving. And they'll take okay. you up, I don't know, 12, 15,000 feet, whatever, whatever it is. Whatever it is, yeah. Yeah. And you get to jump out over the ocean. Hmm. Um, that sounds a little safer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's still going to hurt. Yeah, when you hit the, <laughs> the ocean at full speed. You're probably dead. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, it's, an, it's, it's like hitting a okay. center, black, yeah. center block. You know? you're, That's you're what I've heard. Gone. It's like hitting concrete. Yes. I would not want to do it, but... In your mind, you think, hell yeah, this, this that's way safer than hitting the ground. <laughs> but no, so I drive all the way down to Florida, um, 
just to go skydive. Just to go skydive. You weren't going for anything else. Just, no, no. I'm I going skydive. Yeah, I was down there for the weekend. I, that was my purpose. You know, you could jump there. out of a plane probably around here. So. Yeah, right up in Middletown. But you know, you can't do it over the ocean, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> There's not an ocean. <laughs> There's no by. oceans. There's a river. <laughs> There's a river, but I didn't okay. want to come out with a third arm, so. <laughs> I decided to drive all the way down to going on, driving Amelia Florida, Island. Jump out of a plane. Yeah, to go jump out of a plane. All right, okay. I'm with you. Because <laughs> why not? Because why, why not? Because why not? Sometimes you just can't let a little drive get in the way of a good story. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I took my 350Z all the way down there, too. It was comfy on the way down. Okay. Sucked on the way back. Really? Yeah, the AC line, uh, or the serpentine belt broke, mm -hmm. and uh, AC compressor went out. That sucks. So I had no AC all the way home. You had the middle of the summer coming back from Florida. Yeah. Blazing hot. And of course it had to rain more than half the time. <laughs> Called everybody that I knew and their mother because it's like a thirteen hour drive. Yeah. So the experience of jumping out of a plane, was it worth the drive? Absolutely. And I'd really? do it again. Hell yeah. Have you done it since? You know, I haven't actually. Because hmm. it wasn't shortly after that that I'd end up in a modified. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like on the fence. Is this something I want to do yeah, or no? Absolutely. No, you want to go do it. It is worth it. <laughs> I do. Huh? Yes, absolutely. Oh. Worst case scenario, it's no longer your problem. That's true. I mean, it is. Just you gotta go. That, you gotta yeah. go. Worst case scenario, it's no longer your problem. <laughs> Honey, uh, we're we're gonna go jump out of a plane. What? <laughs> I'll go with you. Let me know what day we're going. We'll go to Amelia Island, or we'll go down. Does, to okay. Island. Does it have to be in Florida? No. No, we can go to Middletown. <laughs> Get a Middletown. We'll go to Middletown. <laughs> Um, I've always had a fascination with like planes and helicopters. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I love to fly. I'd love to. I just don't know that I like jumping out of the plane. I mean, why not? <laughs> designed a parachute. It's supposed to be safe. So. It's supposed to be. <laughs> More people get bitten by the shark. You go to the beach? Some. More people get bitten I by started, sharks. I've started staying out of the water. <laughs> I'm just saying, more people get bitten by sharks than they do, they do. do by skydiving. They do. I would like to be more of the statistics of the guy that wins the lottery, but I don't play the lottery. So. <laughs> You're a very, very small class. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got to play it to win it, but I'm not, not doing that either. So it's not helping my no. retirement plan. No. <laughs> you have a terrible. Retirement Therefore, my plan. yeah, my retirement plan is horrible. It's. It's <coughs> good work, uh, clock out, good lunch. After lunch, just go straight to the funeral home, and that's my retirement plan. <laughs> <laughs> that's my retirement plan. I am totally financially irresponsible. I think most of us are. <laughs> most of us are. Yeah, I, st I still have a helmet. I'm yeah. totally financially irresponsible. I, I mean, I have a car anymore, but yeah. <laughs> I, have cool, I have cool toys. He who dies with the most toys wins. I've always said that. He who dies with the most toys wins. Mm -hmm. You can't take it with you. No, hell no. I and mean, what's what's the difference in having a stack of money or a whole bunch of cool toys? I want the toys. One hundred percent. I want the toys. Yeah. Quads up in the other garage up there. Yeah, yeah. Pit bikes over here. I don't even know where the kayaks. The kayaks are back. There. Yeah, yeah. You got toys. I got toys. All right. I like toys. Uh, before we wrap things up. Let's talk about sponsors. Who you got? All right. So we have Three Little Cubs Creation. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Slinging Dirt on there this year. Love it. That thing is awesome. State Line US 50 Restaurant. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't even know how I'm going <laughs> to spin around through all this. Got uh, another, another good friend of mine, Rucker Innovation. Uh, mm -hmm. Started his own HVAC company. He's been doing it for a long time with other people. Got his own out there. Yep. Um, got a new Facebook. So if you guys are looking for HVAC, um, some electrical work. Give him a follow or like. Uh, Mr. Crazy John. Crazy John. Everybody loves Mr. Crazy John. Lightning yeah. chassis, because that's the car that we are rocking this year. Okay. Um, and on the front, we can't get it off right now, but uh, Terry Rice Engines. Terry He's Rice been the man, okay. man build my motors since, actually since my first year. He's been really? the man building my motors, yeah. Very nice. He's been the guy behind it for me. That's awesome. Same engine builder for how many years now? Uh, six, five, six. Okay. Something like okay. that. Man, the car looks good. Thank you. Thank you. I can't, I can't wait to see it on the track. I, I cannot wait to see this one on the track. I, this is definitely the best looking car I've had. Yeah, yeah. I was, if, if I get to go this weekend, I was going to try to go to Lawrenceburg. I don't know that I'm going to get to. Um, I've got some other things, some work things come up, so I may not get to go this week. But if I go, I was going to try to go to Lawrenceburg. What, what time do you get off work? 
Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure yet. That's part of that's one of the issues. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it works out. I mean, it's a possibility. Fe- features are still going on at like features nine or ten. Still going. Maybe Crazy John will be there. <laughs> Uh, mention the helmet. Tell me about the helmet, man. That so, thing looks pretty hot, too. I love the helmet. Um, Miss Tracy Fisher painted this one up for us Okay. two years ago. Um, I don't know if the camera could see it real well. We'll make sure I get some pictures and I can put those in. But, yeah, we did a uh, – she did a one-off piece for me. Okay. Um, obviously, my colors are black, orange, and gray, and that's what yeah. I've been running for a while. Yeah. Uh, my nephew is autistic. Okay. And we have a pig design on the back of it. Um, it's a one of a kind. It's his, my brother's friend's name is Stefan. Sorry if I messed that up, buddy. Um, but he created the pig for my brother and it's, it's, a, it's got the words, the little engine, but it's real hard to see. Okay. Got a pretty good sticker up there. Of it. Yeah. Um, that but thing's we put it all hot, there dude. to go, you know, racing's a family thing. Me, my brother and I have always been, been, I mean, we're brothers. So yeah. we argue, we fight, but we get along at the end of the day. And right. I wanted to show my support for him and Very his good. boy as, as they go through it. So did a one-off design for it. So I love that helmet. Right on. Looks good, man. Last question I have. A lot of guys go with names. Their car has a name. I need a name. Does your you car guys, have a name? No. If you guys okay. can find me a name, send it over to my Facebook, send it to DJ. Yeah. I, we need a name we need for a name. this car. Okay. The old car was Loose Cannon. Uh, <laughs> I love that name, Loose that's Cannon. A, that's a good one. It was fun. And it, it came from the first car because, you know, when, you, when you, yeah. you don't know how to drive a modified, you feel fast when you're on the dragon <laughs> ass, right? You're all the way in the back in the yeah. first year or two. You, you like, feel like you're setting the world on yeah, fire. Yeah, you feel like you're setting the world on fire and, you're not. You're slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Been uh, there. the old car was named Loose Cannon, and, and we kept that name for a long, long time. And I, I need a name for this one. So okay. I'll, we haven't found anything that's just like, man, this is it. That's it. Yeah, because when we found Loose Cannon, we knew that was Loose Cannon. All right. This one we need some help with. All right. So you got that, viewers. We need some help. Uh, help us out. You can message me. Put it on. Send it to the Facebook. Send it to me. Whatever. Send it to Jay. He needs a name. So let's, yeah, let's hook the guy I up. I need a name. <laughs> need a name. Well, Jay, thanks, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Let's uh, finally making this, this yeah. little deal happen, a little yeah. bullshit session here. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably tell some more stories off the camera. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Cool. So, again, man, hope you guys all like. Don't forget to subscribe, all that great stuff. Share with all your friends. Check us out at the racetrack. Jay will be mostly at Lawrenceburg this year, but you may catch him out and about here and there. Um, so don't forget all that likes and share stuff, all that good stuff, and we'll see you at the track next week. Thanks.